Okay, I thought I'd just do a quick video tonight to show you the setup of the ram pumps as it's still light. Just at the top of the valley now, there's a river that runs down this valley here, runs right down to the bottom down there, and there's another river that runs down the other valley down across there, and the ram pumps are down at the bottom. We'll go down there now, <coughs> take the field car down. <laughs> Okay, so now we're a bit further down the valley. That's the valley I was up there earlier. So this is one of the valleys that runs down. There's a river that runs down the middle there. And the valley runs up through there. There's also a river that runs down there. And Helligan Gardens are right up in the far distance across there. That's where the water's being pumped to. There's a reservoir straight ahead of us in this valley. There's also a reservoir straight down over that valley. If I go down, you can have a look. Okay, this is the uh, first dam. It's only a small river that runs down this valley, so it's just a tiny little dam really. This dam's actually b broken through in the corner, we've just temporarily blocked that to get enough water down to keep the pumps running. We will be rebuilding it. As you can see, the water comes down the valley through here. It's a concrete dam, and then you can hardly see it, but in the distance there, there's a metal pipe that sticks up with a filter on the end. The water runs down there, and that goes down to the head of tank before the ram pump. Here you can see the um, this is the main reservoir that comes down the other valley, much bigger than the other one. Big concrete wall built across here. The river comes in at the top. And then you've got this triangular bit here, which the water goes between there and there. And then there's a sluice gate between here and here. And down in this pit here, where the water is, there's a um, pipe with a filter on the end, the same as the other one. Then runs down through the valley down to the same head of tank as the other one. What, what water isn't used by that just runs out the overflow over the side of the dam. If it's very rainy and you get a lot of water, there's another overflow right over the top here. But rarely will you see the water running over that. As you can see, there's a feral bit of water here. Okay, now, so we're at the bottom of the valley now. Got the one reservoir up that valley and the other one up there. <coughs> Both pipes run down to the header tank located here. And then the pumps are down there through that wooden gate. So well, basically up here you've got the outside chamber and those two inlet pipes there, one of those comes from each of the reservoirs. As you can see there's a lot more water coming out of the big reservoir than there's the other one. Runs into this chamber, there's then a small hole which goes through into the header chamber here, which is a bit dark but there's a sort of two metre deep header chamber there basically. And then obviously what water isn't being taken by the ram pumps then runs out and overflow down through and that then runs back to the same river down there which comes down from the valley so then between this two meter um, header tank and the pumps there's a five inch a three inch and a two inch steel dry pipe about a meter underground here that run right down through down here to the underground chamber where the ramp pumps are located kind of cool. As you can probably actually hear during these videos, the pumps are running. You can hear it from some distance away, the thump of the big one. So now we've got the, sorry about the generator, but it's just to keep a light running because it's underground so you can't see. Down here, we've got a set of steps to run down to the pump chamber. Hopefully this should be light at the bottom. You might, you might not be able to hear me from that one because um, the pumps are quite loud.
Carl and these kinds of things. These seals, they come out. They run in like you. But if they are in school, they are in school in 1880, they take it out of you. They've been sat here ever since. That's about it really. From there, from the pump, there's a pipe then that runs right up across up to Hellican, 320 feet above here, which is a mile and a mile's pipe's distance, and that's where it's pumped up to a 40,000 gallon reservoir, which was originally used by the Hellican Gardens, and we're hoping to be able to put into use again to save on mains water. If you've got any questions at all, how it works, please feel free to comment and I'm sure we'll love to help you out. <coughs> Don't forget this is working completely with absolutely no other energy than the water itself. It simply uses the water hammer effect from the water falling from the ram house up here down to your pump house, stopping it suddenly creating the water hammer effect and that, small, that large amount of energy pushes a small amount of water up the pipe towards Hedigan. Completely environmentally friendly, completely green, and completely free. Pretty cool.